Okay, so a quick update for Bitcoin. Shout out to Carl. Shout out to Venezuela, Argentina, Iran, uh, the Weimar Republic, and Richard Nixon. Okay, so if you guys want to join the group, you can just go on to here. So we cover everything twice a week. I also do live uh, webinars, education, and whatnot. Shopify store. Use Bitcoin New for a fifty percent discount. That that's access to all of my educational material, which is all uh, here. That's all there, so just have a look through. Make sure you go on both pages. And more recently, we're doing a weekly newsletter. So we'll see how far this goes. So far, the feedback has been very, very positive. Um, just sign up here. The next one goes out on Saturday. Um, this is what we covered last week. It was gold. Uh, we covered So we cover every week educational TA lessons. So last week was Pitchforks. This week, I'm, I'm going to be doing uh, On Balance Volume. I have a weekly column every week here where I cover my 10 laws of engagement and Waves is going to start his new weekly column from this Saturday and both weeks, I mean, sorry, every week we give an update each on um, on Bitcoin. So obviously here I said 7100, which is exactly where we are right now. And um, I also covered the, the Dow Jones. So if, if, if you guys sign up today, I'm more than happy to send you last week's uh, edition if that's what you want. Just let me know. Uh, and this week I'm going to be covering the inverted yield curve, its significance, uh, law number two, educational analysis, unbalanced volume, the dollar index, a weekly roundup. So, so far it's got pretty good feedback. We'll see how far we can go with this. Time allows for only once a week. So if you guys are interested, have a look um, and just sign up. Norway is, is not an EU country, uh, neither is the Ukraine. Okay, so let's go into Bitcoin. So... We we believe Bitcoin is is doing um, you know some kind of oversold bounce. A lot of people are bullish, so usually they are wrong. So uh, likely it's going to find some resistance either at seventy one or seventy four. Um, there's a lot of liquidity here, which it could tap to get some buyers trapped in, and then that would provide liquidity for the shorts to go down. Um, and there is no volume here. So once 6800 broke, it was only a matter of time before the 7000 levels were going to hit. Also, we've got a trend line uh, resistance here. And also, if you have a look on the um, the wave relationship between here and here, 1.618 is at 7371. Because I'm running this as an A, an A, B, C um, running flat followed by a five wave impulse. So I'm running all that as an ABC. So I think around here or so, it will probably make a march down. I'd be very surprised if it continue, continues to go higher. Um, I think all the altcoins were very, very oversold. So they're just bouncing because of that. And as has been mentioned, the stochastics is quite high and the RSI, sorry, let me go on the daily. Stochastics is quite elevated and the RSI is marching towards um, you know, 70 again, and obviously we've got a CME contract expiring um, expiring in a few days. So I think by now, a lot of you know the script with Bitcoin. You understand what's going on, to be honest. Um, it's clear no one believes in this bull, <laughs> in this bull leg. We are going to go down, and I think everyone, everyone intelligent is waiting for this level to break. So it's going to settle at either 42, 48. 52. I don't really care where it settles, but I'll probably be buying wherever it settles to then jump into the altcoins. Um, looking at the altcoins, they still have lower to go. Yes, we are getting some sort of bounce, but it's nothing more. It's definitely not an altcoin rally, I don't think. Um, it's just an oversold bounce. So Ether, I mean, against BTC, it could, it could easily go down to here, 0 0.02. And right now, it's just bouncing off this support level. But once this level breaks, really... The next level, let me just draw that to here. Really, the next level is going to be um, basically here. So, um, and then hopefully we'll get some sort of accumulation and then we'll get a move up. But I think that rally might be another few weeks away yet. So, um, I am still expecting a next, a big dump down here. And the next major low, I'm expecting it to be around the time of the futures contract, which is the... Uh, which is around here. So this is the fib time work that I've done from the 19th to the 21st. So I think around here will be a good time to then nibble in and then hopefully start to accumulate altcoins. Obviously, uh, random altcoins are getting some sort of pump, EOS a little bit. 
Um, but really, there's no generalized altcoin rally here. I think a lot of them have got a lot lower to go. Um, if I just show you some of my targets, I mean, Litecoin, I was going through in the group today. Litecoin, I think, can easily go to this level. Um, that's what I'm waiting for, really. I'm waiting for 32 on Litecoin. Um, this level hasn't been tested, and if that breaks, probably 9, but uh, 32 definitely. And on Ether, um, really, we're looking for this 160 target here, so we're looking for that 164 target. Uh, NEO, yes, it bounced off 14. It's doing an oversold bounce. It's retesting this support level, but NEO, I've got it go into here probably as low as four dollars so there's a lot more room to the downside here before a sustained rally obviously we did have um oversold but well i mean that was quite a good rally to be honest but here oversold 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 so um it's oversold bounce until proven otherwise this 50 ema has been pushing it down so uh with bitcoin on the edge of the of a cliff here ready to dump below 59 um, and that's going to cause a lot of panic selling. And I think the major markets are looking very, very toppy. Obviously, there is still some room to go, potentially on, on the NASDAQ down, on the S&P. But we're getting very, very elevated here. Um, you know, these black swan events are just around the corner. Um, obviously, we know it's coming because the charts tell us that they are reaching elevated points. And when that market does turn, the Dow and the S&P and whatnot... Um, it's going to take Bitcoin along with it. So um, it's not a good time to be jumping in, given that risk. Uh, so a little bit more patience, and I think we should get rewarded because, um, you know, here a lot of people can justify potentially converting fiat into uh, Bitcoin and then jumping into some of these altcoins because they will be massively hammered by then. Um, things like Ripple, I mean, I've, I've got it going to 16 cents, and it's at... Um, I mean, it's nowhere near 16 cents. I think it's at 29 or 30 right now. Um, XLM, you know, this is really pushing on support. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know, if XLM breaks 0 $0.18, it's straight to here. It's straight to 0 0.06 because there's just, there's just nothing here until we get to here. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of these altcoins, whilst they might look cheap, I still feel there's one more big dump and on the next big dump to here then I think we could get some sort of sustained rally before potentially another move down but let's not worry about that move down what we're waiting for is this sort of altcoin rally so I still feel there's more downside yet uh, and I'm not convinced by this altcoin rally at all so EOS you know it's making some moves seven percent and whatnot yeah not bad not bad I can't argue with it um, Definitely one of the better ones, but um, let's see. I mean, that, that doesn't look too bad, actually. It's definitely got some volume coming in. Um, but is it just going to bounce off here? So if we get above the 50-day moving average and we start to, to sustain itself, then then fine. You know, we could, could get a potential move up. But for me, um, I'm not really going to be jumping in here. Um, EOS, the resistance is at this sort of level, $7. So until it gets above that and starts to base out and then move up then maybe but um i still feel that there's lower movements here to come one or two altcoins is not a general altcoin rally uh digibyte uh yeah it's doing a little bit but the resistance is here 0 0.032 and then it could end up getting bounced back down again uh, to here oops to here so um yeah not for me. BTS um, retesting resistance, um, not looking good. I mean, BTS. I'm not going to buy any BTS till it gets to at least 0 0.06, um, because that would be retesting all of this area here back last September. So a lot of these are doing full 100% retracements of their price action in, in the last. 12 months so why buy bts there when it can go here so i still think there's one more big dump to come and on that next dump i think potentially one can justify accumulating some altcoins okay so i'll wrap it up there short and sweet carl is an absolute legend so uh let's have a look and as i said if you guys want to have a look at the group the shopify the newsletter have a look and uh good luck to what you're doing but i don't think it's very 
uh, clever to be too long here. Um, I think it's a little bit risky. I, I'm expecting a, a move down at some point uh, soon. Uh, but as I said, it could go as high as 74, but um, we're getting trapped between the 68 and the 50 and this descending line as well. So on this VPVR node here. So um, I am expecting a downturn pretty soon. But let's see. Anyway, I'll wrap you up there. Good luck with whatever you're doing. And um, I'll chat to you guys soon.